Hey guys, it's Matt Pittman of Meat Church here at Traeger. Going to show you a really simple rib recipe today. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to peel the membrane off of these St. Louis spare ribs. So the membrane on the back of the ribs, you pull it off for a couple reasons. First off, we can put more seasoning on the meat and actually penetrate the meat versus trying to get through this membrane. And secondly, after the ribs cooked, if you don't peel the membrane off, when you go to take a bite, it's kind of a film at the bottom of the rib and it's just a super unpleasant bite. So you're gonna have a lot better result and experience if you peel it. All you gotta do is take a dry paper towel and back here on the back, find the edge of the membrane, just grab hold of it with this towel and then it will just peel right off. One pull, membrane's gone, you're good to go. Okay, now we've got the membrane pull. I'm gonna do a little bit of trim on these, and this is up to you. Just keep in mind, every bit you trim is something you're not getting to eat. Um, but I'm gonna take the ends off so they cook really even. So I'm gonna flip these over. You can see a rib a lot better on the bone side. And so I'm just gonna come in kind of this last or next to last rib bone, take my knife right inside the rib and just make a nice even cut. So we've got nice, square, even cooking racks of ribs. From here, we're gonna jump into seasoning them. And so we've got a lot of options in the Meat Church line of what we wanna season with. Tried and true method for me is to use our really famous honey hog rub and then our honey hog hot, which has got a little bit of jalapeno in it. I put the honey hog hot on the back and I'm going to go with a liberal application. Don't worry, you're not gonna to put too much. It's not gonna to be too salty. And you're really gonna just coat the back of these ribs. So right now I can see the, the white fat, but when I'm done seasoning, you really can't see anything but this rub. So it's a nice heavy application. You don't have to use a binder. You can use some sort of yellow mustard if you want to slather on first before you put the seasoning on. That's just a vehicle for the seasoning to adhere quicker. But for me, this is a simple two-sided piece of meat. I can apply this seasoning, let it sit for a few minutes, flip and repeat the process. Big tip I'll give you, never season ribs more than an hour in advance. I like to season one side, let it sit 30 minutes, flip, season the other side, let it sit 30 minutes, then we're gonna take them out to the Traeger. I'm gonna cook these ribs today at 275 degrees, so I'm gonna go get my grill ready, let this kind of sweat out, soak in, come back, flip them over and add my honey hog. Okay, I'm back from getting my grill prepped. It's rocking 275 degrees. The back side with the honey hog hot, it's really adhered. The moisture is coming out of these ribs. It's nice and wet. So I'm gonna flip these over and I'm gonna season the meat side. And so for this side, I'm gonna go with our honey hog rub. It's an amazing taste, very, very popular across the country in barbecue. And it also has just a really gorgeous color. All right, so pretty heavy application here. And again, I'm gonna give this you know, 30 minutes or so, and then it's gonna be time to put these on the Traeger. Okay guys, so I'm out here at the Traeger. We've got it at 275 degrees with hickory pellets. I'm gonna go ahead and put my ribs on. So we're gonna go meat up. And these ribs are gonna cook for about two and a half hours. And during that two and a half hours, I'm gonna check them a couple of times. I'm gonna spritz these with you know, an apple cider vinegar or apple juice two times in the cook in that time, just when they start to look dried out. But I'm just gonna be looking for these ribs to turn just a beautiful bright red mahogany color. And when they do that, it's gonna be time to wrap them up and we wanna protect that red color. So I'll come back and check it every hour or so, but I know from experience at 275, this first stage is gonna be about two and a half hours. Okay guys, so we came back inside to wrap the ribs. What I'm gonna do, I've laid down two pieces of aluminum foil for each rack of ribs. And I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna use a little competition tip to help enhance the flavor of these ribs even further. So, what I want you to do is take some brown sugar and just take a small handful and just kinda of make a pile about the size of the length of that rack of ribs, because you're gonna lay the ribs down in this. And then just get yourself a really good butter. So I like to use, you know, like European style butters and just lay down about four pats of butter. And then get you some clover honey and just pour a nice little bead of that honey. Look at that. I'm gonna add some kind of more sweet goodness 
to these ribs. And then lastly, we're gonna apply a little more seasoning. So we're gonna take our Honey Hog Hot Rub and just a little application to top that off. Reminder, this stuff cooks down, it's not too hot. It gives you a really nice sweet heat on your ribs, which is what I'm going for. So I'm gonna take the meat side, I'm gonna lay it right down in this. Take those two pieces of foil, wrap it up tight. And we're gonna repeat this step on the other rack and we're gonna return it to the Traeger for about two more hours. So now we're gonna be at about a four and a half hour cook total on those ribs to this point. And I am going to go out to the Traeger and put these back on. I'm gonna be meat side down this time. So these are kind of swimming in all that goodness we just did. And like I said, we're gonna go for about another two hours. So see you guys outside. Okay guys, we've got the ribs wrapped. We're gonna go back on the Traeger. And this is gonna go about two hours. And so what we're gonna be looking for is we want the bones to be popping out of the ribs about a quarter inch. And that's when you know they're really close to being done. So I'm gonna come back out here probably hour, 45 minutes just to check on them. But I know this is gonna take two hours at 275 degrees. Okay guys, so we've had the ribs back on the Traeger for another two hours. So we're at around four and a half hours total. So we're gonna check them, see if they're done. Open up the foil packet. Oh yeah, and so what you're gonna see here is this pullback on the ribs. So that shows you, this tells you they're done. You get that quarter inch pullback, they're done. So it's time to take these in. If you wanna sauce them, we can do that. If not, we can eat. Okay guys, we're back in from outside with our ribs. Let's pull these out of the wrap. Man, look at that. So, as usual, I can't wait any longer. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna get into eating these. Little tip, sometimes it's difficult to see which directions the bones are going on the meat side. So if you want, you could actually just flip them over uh, and you could trim here on, uh, you know, on the bone side so you can actually see the direction the bones are going. So that's why you'll see people do this at barbecue joints. So I'm just gonna cut a couple off here. You can see these are nice and meaty. See that beautiful smoke that developed in there? So from the hickory wood pellets, these, uh, these ribs got amazing smoke, great pullback, and these just look fantastic. So, the moment of truth. Man, a perfectly cooked rib, when you pull it away, you can see your teeth marks. So if you like it fall off the bone, cook it a little further. Man, these are super good. So. You want this recipe, TraegerGrills.com slash recipes or download the app.